I look like I'm either in Gossip Girl or going to a funeral, that's just the way it is. I'm currently in the middle of a bajillion things, so I thought I would obviously start vlogging. Basically, I leave in two days to go home with the cats, so I have a bajillion things to do. So I thought I would take you along because it's just really good motivation when you're here, so thank you. First task for today is to import some photos that I just took so that I can get up this Insta post with a brand that I am an ambassador for this year. Notability. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I've been wanting to switch my, um, where is it? My phone screen to, or my phone wallpaper. Different um, quotes from books I'm reading so that like, it's just nice. It's just nice. Like when I find a favorite quote of a book I'm reading, I can like have it as my um, lock screen. So obviously the one that I made on Notability here is from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so easy because like I said, I'm not someone who is good with like, really graphic design or anything like that but it's just so easy to make them in notability because they have a bunch of like templates you can use they have like already foam wallpaper templates made and then you can just customize it so um basically all i have to do is find the quotes that i love which is just oh i can't believe it's over um and then i can just play around with it and kind of make it look however i want i don't think i need to really do any big edits on the pictures, I just need to import them and kind of send them over to myself. So that is what I'm doing first. Guipo, I see you. There is that. Grendel, what are you doing? Go through the photos and like pick the ones that I want, delete the ones I don't want. This, sometimes I just, I let this take too long, so let's not do that. Mm, this one's cuter. Let's delete that. Let me show you, let me give you like a sneak peek of how they turned out. Look, they're cute. Ooh, they're so cute. This quote from um, 1984, it was one of those quotes where I had like, seen it on tumblr thought it was so beautiful and then i never knew it was properly from george orwell until i read 1984 and then it's one of those moments when like you turn the page and you read the quote and you're like oh that's where that's from that's where that came from that stabs me in the heart i've got that up which is nice it's 2 30 right now also been trying to drink three water bottles a day so sadly i haven't even finished my first one so i gotta i gotta get going with this one the bed right now, I have a bunch of just like piles of stuff that I need to sort because I kind of will be going home for more than a little bit. I'm also deliberating on taking this dress. I think I am just going to take it because I want to do like a little grad photo shoot when I'm there. I don't think I ever talked about it, but in the end, I never did end up going to my graduation ceremony. I was in Toronto, wasn't in Toronto. And I just don't know anyone. I wouldn't have known anyone. Wasn't really interested in just walking across the stage and getting a photo taken. So I think I might just go do my own little photo shoots when I'm there, which will be nice. And I'll get to pick up my diploma and all of that stuff. So I think I'm going to bring this one. This is the dress that I decided I think I want to wear. I feel like it's cute. I'm just going to watch some YouTube while I pack. These are the shoes that I was thinking of bringing with me for the shoot. We have just like, these are hand-me-downs and these are actually my prom shoes that I wore to my high school prom. Um, I think they're just too blingy for the white dress. So I think I'm just gonna go with these more like classic black heels. that much room in my suitcase in the back for books but we're gonna try so this is like can you see the stack yeah this is the stack of books that I'm debating taking with me so let's sort this into categories okay the books that I know I need to come with me I am bringing ice fields which is one of my favorite books of all time just so that I can sit in my little grad photo shoot because I wanted to have at least one of the books in it with me kind of thing so I think Icefields is just that book for me. So 
The other book that I 100% need to bring, this is tragic because it's so big, but it's 1Q84 by Murakami. I did start it, I'm this much of the way through, so I'm over the 100 page mark now. Loving it, I love Murakami, this is going great. Absolutely need to bring this and read this because this is for the Game of Tomes book club, so yeah. This is our pick for July and August. Just texted Carolyn, but basically if we don't end up filming our Lord of the Rings video in the next couple of days, I'm gonna need to bring probably all three Lord of the Rings books with me because they have like my notes in them in places, so. I do wanna film a 24 hour readathon when I'm home, which will be fun. So these were the books that I picked out for that from like my stack of five star predictions. Oh god, this does not fit. I have the book I'm currently reading, which is Steppenwolf, but I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to finish this in two days, honestly. So I might have to bring this as well, but I'm gonna leave this out because there's a chance I could finish it before I go. This one I got the audiobook for on Audible because last month, was it last month? I got House of the Spirits on Audible because I needed to listen to it, so then this month I forgot to cancel and I got a credit. So I think I'm gonna use it on Sipsworth. If I listen to the book and I have the physical copy, I really like, like having it with me and catching up with it in the book. Grace of Wild Things I just wanted to bring because it seems like a fun book to read in my backyard. On top of that, I have some other reading vlogs, like themed reading vlogs with specific books that I wanted to film also while I was there. So I think at the end of the day, I just need to pick one of them because I cannot bring this many books like this is stupid. So what I'm gonna do is like between the two vlogs, I will tell you that one of the vlogs that I have in mind, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be filming it in July now or not, just based on what I end up picking the books as for the vlogs is reading your favorite books. I haven't decided on the list yet for that vlog of your favorite books, but I should do that and then between that vlog and the other vlog that I want to film, I'll pick which of the books I'll bring with me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, but that's without potentially these. I just got the call that Kelsifer's medication is ready for pickup. He just gets really stressed out in the car if he doesn't have his like anxiety meds. The other thing with Kelsifer is that he's just been so cute recently. Like him and Grendel have been so cute together and they've really just been like, I don't know how to explain it just because I said in my last vlog that I was going through, you know, I really started to open up more about the anxiety. For one on that tangent, I just want to say a huge thank you because it's so crazy how many people just like thank you for your words thank you for your comments what i was saying on the anxiety thing with the cats is that for the past um week or so when i was you know saying how i was really suffering with insomnia and i would sleep in so long like the cats would just make sure to sleep in with me even though they're not used to like sleeping through the night and then sleeping in until like 12, 1, or even 2 p.m. sometimes these past few weeks. They've both just been coming up onto the bed with me, which Grendel is always, like Grendel always sleeps with me. Grendel is always wherever I am. Like he's very, very attached to me. He's always around. Kelsifer doesn't usually sleep in the bed with me at all, but these past, this past week, they've both been coming up and like sleeping on my legs and in between my legs and like, it's just been so nice. I just appreciate them so much. They really make my- I don't know what I would do without them. I don't know what I would do without Kelsifer and Grendel. And like, the two of them, like, all three of us have just been cuddling so much. Like, I will be sleeping, Grendel will be on my legs, and then half of- I took a picture. Half of Grendel will be like, on top of Kelsifer. Here was one of the days. Like, they just sleep there. Look at how precious. They've just been cut. It's just been so nice. And what I was trying to say about Kelsifer before I went on like three different tangents is that Kelsifer is not a cat who's really like he's never been a biscuit maker. Like he has his bed. He has his cat bed, which is right here that he used to sleep in all the time. And he would like suck it because it's very like fuzzy and he would kind of like make little biscuits into the bed, but he never made any biscuits anywhere except for the bed. When we got Grendel, Grendel like was really comforted by Kelsifer's smell, I think, in his bed, so Grendel has taken over Kelsifer's bed, and since then, Kelsifer hasn't, like, you know, made any of his biscuits. But it's just so cute the way that, like, they teach each other and talk to each other and influence each other because Grendel makes biscuits 
a lot of places like he'll make them on you he'll make them on the blanket he'll make them whatever and recently calcifer has started to make his own biscuits on blankets and it's just so cute because like he's so weird about it and like it's like he does it's like a, it's like watching a cat who doesn't know how to work at the biscuit factory because he like lifts his paws up so weird if i can get a video of it next time i will it just does something to my soul that is so healing and another thing that Kelsfer has picked up, I swear, I swear he picked up the biscuit thing from Grendel, but he, his purrs have also started to change. Grendel is like a motorboat. He is so loud. He purrs all the time and it's so loud and rumbly and vocal. Kelsifer's purrs have always been very like muted and more like gurgly. <laughs> he like gurgles more um, and he gets really drooly sometimes, but recently his purrs have been like audible from a distance, which is just not a thing with Kelsifer like it is with Grendel. Um, and it's just, oh, I just love them, you guys. Sorry, this turned into a session of me just talking about my cats. I have had a few requests in the past to go over my Notion. I've been using Notion for years at this point. Notion is what I use to organize all of my YouTube stuff, my video ideas, my book club stuff and to plan out all and pretty much every single video that i do on my channel i thought i would take you through my booktube page which i have recently updated i just like making it look kind of simple and cute i use pinterest <laughs> to find all of the photos that i just plop down in here notion is also sponsoring this part of the video so thank you so much i can take you through a few things in here for sure not the secret stuff for now <laughs> but if we go to my videos page i have a whole bunch of stuff I have a bunch of embedded pages here and then down here i just have some like video ideas that i just like popping in like random stuff here whenever I get inspired or I see an idea that I would love to do myself, um, I just like pop it right here so I don't forget it. Here I recently added this section, so this is videos by month. Honestly for me the second half of the year, like into fall and December, there are so many videos that require a lot of planning. I basically just made a little gallery of each month and then I just added little pictures that I really love for each month of like mostly just book quotes. We have Rilke, we have F. Scott Fitzgerald, we have Mary Shelley, and then for December and January, just put some really cute artwork. So if we go, for example, to my schedule, you can kind of see how I work it out. So I just put in a little table here, which is so, everything is just so easy to do. Basically, I just put the month and then the video. So a lot of these are still not well, actually we can change these together because i need to update this today but and then i put a little column for side tasks like stuff i need to do before i actually start filming it's just so easy to add in little tags i wish i would have done this when i was in uni with all of my assignments and stuff but basically we just have not filmed filming all filmed up edited scheduled and uploaded um you can see i'm still filming my selection vlog you get like a little sneak peek i guess of what is coming your way my lord of the rings vlog has been uploaded so we can put that to green i am actually currently doing this today so i just created my tier list last night so i'm actually in the middle of filming that today so and then i have the world tour actually over here in a separate section so this is our book club it's a little table that i've made so i can keep track of everything that we've read um i put it in a spot for my rating the book the country that it was from and then the month so we can actually fill out august because august is uh the votes are now in they've never been that close but we're going to be reading from taiwan and the book is The Membranes by Chi Tawe. Notion actually has this new thing called Notion Sites, which makes web publishing super simple and super easy. So if you wanna create your own website, like literally out of anything, um, you basically can turn any Notion page into a website with literally the click of a one button. I thought it would honestly be a good idea to try putting the world tour one as a little website so that I could share it. If we just wanna literally set that up right now, I just go up here and I hit share. Then I hit publish. And literally, I just hit publish. <laughs> I can customize the site, which is really nice. So you don't need to do any complicated like HTML. You don't need to have any coding skills. It literally does all of the work um, for 
for you. Very intuitive to use. You can like put it in dark mode, light mode. You can change the favicon, the header. Notion AI can also help you fill in any blank spots if you're not sure what to put. If you're also not sure what you want to share with the world or publish to the web, Notion has a bunch of different templates that you can choose from, customize, and then just literally have them up in a few clicks. If you guys want to try Notion or have any sites that you want to start building on your own, you can try Notion sites for free and access premium content for $12 a month with this link. Good morning.